What is Xi Sigma Pi? Honor Society Foundation, a trusted authority in the Honor Society space, will walk you through Xi Sigma Pi. So, what are the requirements to be a part of Xi Sigma Pi? Qualified individuals will have to have maintained a minimum of 74 credit hours and rank in the upper 25% of their class. They'll also need a grade point average of B or higher and have completed at least 10 semester hours in forestry or forestry related natural resource management class. But what is the history of Xi Sigma Pi? Initially founded as a local chapter at the University of Washington on November 24th, 1908, the Society of Xi Sigma Sigma Pi has grown to a national organization with 43 chapters. At the advent of its growth, beta and gamma chapters were added to Michigan State and the University of Maine in 1916. So what are the key benefits of being a member of Xi Sigma Pi? Well, the objective of the society is to secure and maintain a high standard of scholarship in forestry and natural resource education. They also aim to work for the improvement of forestry education and to promote a fraternal spirit among those engaged in activities to save the forest. One of their main values is professional development. Election to membership requires credible interest and activity in course curriculum, as well as the promise of attaining high professional achievement. One of their core beliefs is personal integrity. Academic excellence and holistic professionalism are founded on the traits of honesty, amiability, morality, dependability, industry, leadership, and cooperation. Candidates are expected to showcase these qualities. Based on the information, here is our review. Observation number one is that this is the only society dedicated to forestry making it a very niche society within its community, which has its pros and cons in terms of the alumni network, generalizations, more personalized, everything I've discussed in other videos. While it is a smaller society, this is not inherently negative because that can be great for postgraduate networking. Observation number two was that this society requires members to be in the upper 25% of their class, which is slightly higher than other societies we've seen. We usually use the upper 35 percent as the gauge for whether or not members are eligible. Our third observation was that Xi Sigma Pi is currently governed through biennial conventions held in conjunction with the Society of American Foresters. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and please stay tuned for more Honor Society reviews.